He grabs him from behind, put him in a chokehold, left him marks on his neck. All new at 10, what was expected to be a fun night with family at a haunted house left one teenager scarred with his mother asking questions. See this horse Stephen Seely sat down with the Toluca ranch owners and the teenager's mother to see what happened this past Saturday. Stephen. Well, Nicole, the mother of the 14 year old wants to know how her son was left with these bruises and scratches on his neck. Her son says the actors at the Toluca Ranch got physical with him, but the haunted house owner tells me that isn't the whole story. Teenager's mother, Mary Gonzalez, says her son asked one of the house, haunted house workers to let him leave. Then she says one of the workers put her son in a chokehold. According to Mary, her son and his friend weren't given a waiver before going inside, but were asked to sign a sheet of notebook paper. The owner of Toluca Ranch tells me that people know what they're getting themselves into before walking in. It wasn't until we got into, they got into this room that we do separate you. We try to separate you throughout the house you know, for, to, get your, to get the fear into you. Because like I said, this is an adult's uh, haunted house. We don't recommend kids. We've said that from the beginning. So he was not at fault. He was not at fault having an adult there that could have had restraint or could have just taken my kid out. You know what? Okay, you want to leave? Leave. None of this would have happened. Mary Gonzalez says she wants to see the surveillance footage so that she can see for herself what really happened. But Julie Gonzalez says she tells me the cameras at the ranch haven't worked since a power outage three weeks ago. The Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office is currently in charge of this investigation and say it's being looked into in reference to the allegations of a criminal offense. In the studio, Stephen Seeley, CBS4 Valley, tonight.